Hello, this is Abela David. In this tutorial, I'm going to show us how to sum digits across multiple columns using the let function. So let's get started. Now let's make sense of our sample data. Now we have a list of fruits and vegetables, and these are the units sold or quantity sold for each of the quarters. So we have quarter one, two, three. Actually, is to sum this our numbers okay as a digit in column F. And of course, we want to see how to, to return the formulas. So let's start. Now, I'm going to come to cell F2. So let's deploy the let function. Now, by definition, the let function assigns calculation results to names. Useful for storing intermediate calculations and values by defining names inside a formula. And these names only apply within the scope of the let function. So I'm going to press the tab key. Now, we have the name one, name value one calculation on name two three compulsory argument and we have other optional arguments so for the name one i'm, I'm going to just use my name abiola so you can actually use anything as the name one okay which will be stored in memory so i'm going to put in a comma now the name value one so this is where i'm going to enter my formula so i'm going to start by typing the mid function which returns the characters from the middle of the text string given the starting position and length so press my tab key so the mid function has three arguments, text, start number, and the num charts. That is the number of characters you want to extract based on the starting number and based on the text. So for my text, I'm going to select, let's deal with quarter four. So I'm going to select cell E2, then comma. So for the starting number, I will show the sequence dynamic array function, which returns the sequence of numbers. Then press my tab key. And of course, the sequence has one mandatory argument, which is the rows. So for the rows, I'm going to train the length function, which returns the number of characters in a text string. Then press my tab key. And for the text required argument for the length function, I'm going to select cell E2 also. Then I close my length and I close my sequence. Then that returns us back to the mid starting numbers. So when I you know, press F9 to evaluate. So you can actually see we have one, two inside this cell E2. So I'm going to press Control Z to go back, then comma. Now the last argument of the mid function is the num chart. That is the number of characters you want to pull. So I'm going to just put in one. Then I close my mid formula. So let's see. When I press F9, so you can actually see we have seven five inside cell E2. So I'm going to press Ctrl Z to go back. Now that is the name value one, which is my formula. So I'm going to press comma. Now the next argument is the calculation or norm name two. So I'm going to just enter my calculation straight away. So for this, I'm going to enter the sum function, then press my tab key. Now this is the name one that is stored in memory. So I'm going to record that to just like a viola. Then I can do multiplied by one now this one will multiply all the formula that is inside our name okay so i'm going to close this then i close my let so when i press f9 now you can see that it's going to deliver 12 which is 7 plus 5 and that will give us 12 so i can press ctrl z or we can even use lambda instead of multiplication sign both we work okay abiola lambda one so when i press F9 to evaluate, it's going to deliver 12. Control Z to go back, then I can control enter. So you can actually see that it, the sum of the digits in cell E2 is 12, which is 7 plus 5. And you can see the formula. Okay, let's copy this formula down. Amazing. So when we had 3, 9, that will give us 12. 1, 9 will give us 10. 6 plus 3 will give us nine so this is you know summing of digits for each columns now the goal is to do it across multiple columns so i'm going to press f2 to open up the formula now to try to do that across multiple columns that is column b c d we have done for e so let's just modify the formula i can actually come here and do something like use the ample sign sign to join that with this and another ampersand sign join that with quarter two and the last one to join that with the value in quarter one so having done this then i'm going to just copy the formula that is the text 
control C, then I go right to the len. Then I'm going to just get this one out and control V to paste the formula. So when I hit control enter, can you say it give us 37, which is the same, which is the value for all these? Okay, 3 plus 6 plus 7 plus 7 plus 2 plus 7 plus 5, and that will give us 37. 8 plus 2 plus 2 plus 9 plus 1 plus 8 plus 3 plus 9 will give us 42. So we have some all the digits across multiple columns. And that's exactly what we want to do. But this doesn't make sense because it is inefficient to be using the ampersand sign. So I'm going to press F2 to open up the formula again. Come right to the text of the mid function. I'm going to just throw in a concat function, a concat function which concatenates a list or a range of text strings. Okay, so press my tab key. Now the concat function has one mandatory argument and many optional arguments. Okay. So the other ones are in square brackets and the mandatory one is just normal text one. So I'm going to just select all this range. Okay, that is B2 to E2. So B colon E2. So meaning all true to E2. Then I close my concatenate. So I'm going to just copy this. Control C and I go right to where we have the len formula inside the let. So I'm going to delete this or just paste. The concat formula then I can do control enter so we achieve the same result and we have narrowed down the formula okay so press escape so when I copy this one down we achieve the same result another option is if you don't want to use the concat function you can actually use the text join so in cell F2 I'm going to press F2 to open up the formula come right to the text input value of the mid function then i'm going to type in the text join of course it also concatenates a list or range of text strings but the only difference is that it uses a delimiter so i'm going to press my tab key now the first argument of the text join is the delimiter so i'm going to just put in the comma and i'm going to ignore empty cells to be true and another comma now the text that i want to concatenate is this when i close my text to text join rather then i'm going to copy the formula come right to where we have the lane okay so i'm going to delete this concat paste the text join and i do control enter so we achieve the same result amazing so let's press control down so we can actually see the sum of all the digits across columns b c d and e and this is wonderful I hope you enjoy this um tricks in excel if you do enjoy it make sure you give some likes comments and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you and see you in the next video bye